At the turn of the century, many explicitly racist attitudes were not considered racist, but rather scientific orthodoxy. It was assumed that races differed in terms of intelligence, sophistication and morality. These assumptions later led to the ideology of eugenics. Hitler, for example, argued that the world could be improved by ridding the world of genetically weak or impure races. Today, it's rare to see people argue that some races are superior to others. Also, negative attitudes and stereotypes about many racial minorities have improved. Katz and Braley in 1933 conducted a classic study that investigated people's attitudes towards different racial groups. Katz and Braley asked 100 undergraduate students from Princeton University to highlight the traits that they thought were most characteristic of different racial groups. The different racial groups included black Americans and white Americans. The participants were provided with a list of traits that they could choose from. They were also able to assign traits that were beyond what was listed. They found that some of the most frequently assigned traits to white Americans were being industrious, intelligent, ambitious, progressive and alert. And for the black Americans it was traits such as superstitious, lazy, ignorant, religious and stupid. This study has been replicated by Gilbert in 1951 and again Carlin's and colleagues in 1969. Together, these studies are known as the Princeton Trilogy and have documented the changes in stereotyping across the different generations of Princeton students. From the Princeton Trilogy studies, what we see especially for the overtly negative traits for the black Americans is a downward trend. For example, the number of participants assigning superstitious as a trait that is characteristic of the black American had dropped from 84% in 1933 to only 13% in 1967, which is a massive 71% drop. The frequency of participants assigning the trait lazy as characteristic of African Americans had dropped from 75% in 1933 to only 26% in 1967. The trait stupid that was assigned by 22% of participants as characteristic of black Americans in 1933 had dropped to 4% in 1967. In Carlin et al's study in 1967, participants are mostly assigned traits such as musical, happy-go-lucky, pleasure-loving and ostentatious as characteristic of black Americans. In 1967, the frequency in which participants assigned traits such as industrious, intelligent and alert as characteristics of the white American had declined, and participants most frequently assigned traits such as materialistic, ambitious and pleasure-loving as characteristic of the white Americans. Others have replicated the Princeton Trilogy with a sample of students from different universities and found that the stereotypes of African Americans consisted of more positive traits while stereotypes of white Americans consisted of more negative traits than before. More recently, researchers found that regardless of race, almost all stereotypes have become more favorable. From these findings, it seems that certain stereotypes of the white American and black American groups have improved over the years. This is a good news story, right? You can look at this data in two ways though. One way is that actually people's stereotypes about black Americans and white Americans have generally improved. Another way is that maybe we just live in a more politically correct era. In 1933, it was okay for people to portray black Americans as lazy and ignorant. Now, everyone knows to keep negative stereotypes to themselves. It's possible that there might be a bit of both going on.